All right, guys. Um, please don't mind the stuff in the background. This is a storage room. But um, here we go. Finally getting around to showing you guys the parts and what we have so far. I will say that I just ordered some more recently. That one just showed up today. So there's more on the way. I'll show it later, I guess. But um, honestly, I can't even remember what all I ordered. I ordered the oil barbel that goes here. Um, I ordered some hood struts because the hood doesn't stay open on its own. I ordered the clutch kit so I could get balance with all the other goodies I'm gonna show you in a second. And then um, those guys, I'll get into that in a second. And then, shoot, yeah, like I said, I forgot the rest. But anyways, let's just get right into it. Uh, I guess we'll start off with this while we're on that subject. So as you can see here, I found this in the vehicle. Um, we got some rockers here. Some of them are good, some of them are not. I also do not have a stand for them. So I just said, forget it. and went ahead and ordered a new set. So um, over here, we got a Comcare set, new joints. I'm not gonna take them out the plastic, but you get the picture, you know. Everybody brand new, so they'll be all good to go. Um, yeah, so that's that. These are the push rods from the previous setup. Not sure if those are gonna work for us, but um, we're gonna see. So hopefully they do, that would be awesome. Uh, if not, it is what it is. Really thick clump cam, guys. I've never seen these before. I've never seen any this big. So definitely some beefy stuff there. But uh, we'll go ahead and move this out of the way. All right, we'll just go around the room, I guess. So as you can see, obviously we have a cam. Oof. Um, let's see if it shows it on the box. LS7, stage four. Can you see it? Things going to be nasty. This is our lovely block that will be housing all of these goodies. Hope it's ready for some abuse because it's about to see it. Um, here are our heads. Turns out they are ported. So that's cool. Don't have to get that done. Um, here's one of the valves. Titanium, as you see that it is fused together down there. I learned that not so long ago, so that's cool. They lost a keeper, so we need another one of those, and that cylinder could get put back together, which is on that guy down there missing. Um, these heads were damaged before. I'm trying to find it so I can show you guys. This one it was repaired. How well? We're gonna find out. But, um, yeah, this has got to be the cylinder where a valve was dropped because it is not the same as the others. If you look closely, you can see. But um, we're going to run it. We're going to see how it does. All right, moving on. Found these. I always saw this box, but I never opened it, and I wish I did because I bought a, so I bought a set of stock head bolts. Turns out we have ARPs. Who knew? Not me. So, um, shoot. It won't focus, but they're ARPs. So we have those. Awesome. Gonna use that, obviously. And then, um, we got timing set up in here. There's our gear. Sprocket. Chain. So, got that. Um, here is our gorgeous eagle crank. Freaking sick. And I'm going to leave that for last because those are wild. Um, K1 rods. Let's see if I can grab one out for you guys real quick. Uh, nothing crazy. 
good stuff. Just the good stuff. And as you can see in here, we got Cuvite bearings and, and whatnot. So some goodies in here as well. Um, I believe we have main bearings and all of that good stuff. So that's all in there. This one is a lot to digest. Um, probably won't be able to show you everything so I don't want to take everything out, but pretend to play for the cam, head gaskets, uh, lifter trays. There's some lifters in here somewhere. Uh, rear cover and gasket. Uh, not quite sure what this is. I don't want to. I don't want to box, unbox and open everything. Oh, oil pump. New oil pump. What's that? That's some other stuff up in there. And then... <sighs> Pistons, man. I'm going to open this because you guys need to see it to really understand the direction this build is going in and what's about to happen. Like, if I can ever get this off. Check that out. Oh my God. Insane. Disgusting. So as you can see, we're not coming to play games. This thing is gonna make some sauce, hopefully. But um, hopefully it's still streetable. I mean, I'm trying to keep it still streetable. We're gonna see on that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all we have for right now. Like I said, more is on the way. So just letting it show up and just throwing it over here in the stack. But I wanted to unbox and open a little bit so you guys can see what's going on and whatnot. And then um, I guess I'll take you outside real quick. Hold on, turn this alarm off. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hello. I was digging in this thing yesterday. And I was taking some stuff out. So I can't remember if I showed you everything that we have already. So coil packs, file covers, uh, alternator, water pump, dry sump. I need to do some digging on this because this has active fuel management, I believe. Not trying to use that. So, we'll, we'll look into that. AC compressor. Uh, that's just a bunch of bolts and stuff. Uh, we got our front cover with a, a sensor in it still and the oil pump. Didn't want to trust it, so I'm not gonna use it. Motor mounts, uh, front accessory brackets. Stock manifolds, so we're not gonna use those. I'm putting loan tubes on it. Only because it's gonna be a pain, I'm sure. And so I have the motor out, I have an empty bay, I can lay the headers in and then drop the motor in. So off rip, I just wanna do long tubes, you know, go ahead and get that out of the way. And then like this kind of stock stuff, I'll put on it and replace later. That's okay, that's fine. Um, I actually wanna change pretty much all of that. Except for the rails, if I don't have to. But um, I want the MSD atomic intake. Uh, gonna do a set of injectors with Mark. And then we're gonna change the throttle body to a 103. So all the basic necessities of a NA car, you know, max effort, but not really max effort. And uh, yeah, we got some, some coolers and stuff like that in here. You know, got some, some lines. And uh, oil pans over there, valve covers, balancer, whatnot. It's over there. It's a bunch of bolts and oil pan. Not quite sure what it goes to just yet. But yeah, that's the gist of it. That's what we got so far. Um, doing pretty good. Doing really, really good. So yeah, that's, that's all we got going on. Like I said, I'll probably get with you guys again when I get the rest of the stuff. Show you the clutch and whatnot. Cause I'm sure it's going to be all nice and pretty. 
I went with the McLeod twin disc, so that's gonna be really nice. It's gonna drive like stock, but I'm gonna be able to send the crap out of the thing, and that's what I want. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got going on right now. Um, the other garage is empty ish. I mean, there's not a car in it, it's just stuff scattered all over. Uh, oh, I did sell the engine out of the Camaro that's gone. So, yeah, just all the space over here. The truck doesn't fit in a garage, so it just sits outside. So, really nothing to put in there. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. I'm not gonna keep talking you guys' head off. I just know that some people were been on my head about showing what the setup's gonna be. And like I said, I have nothing to hide, man. I'm not one of those people that, oh, it's a recipe, it's a secret. Like, you can do the research just like I did. It's, it's no secret. If you want to know about something or whatever, you just do some forum surfing, ask some people that has one, blah, blah, blah. You'll find out everything you need to know. But yeah, this is what we got going on, man. I'm hoping to make mid 600 to the wheel out here because it's, you know, not good air. DA is kind of crap. But if I can make 650 to the wheel out here, oh man, I'll take this thing down to Texas. I'm going to be rolling. So hopefully, 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 hopefully by SEMA we can be going. But I've got some adulting to do in the meantime. So you know how that goes. All this gets put on hold. That's why I'm trying to grab as much of this as I can before the adulting really pops off. So will we make it? I don't know. But I will promise you guys that I will try because I myself would like to be in traffic for SEMA again because I was one of the greatest times I've had in this town since I've been here. So we're going to see what we can make happen, man. Right now, I've just been grabbing all the essentials that I needed to get all of this stuff jammed into there and put together. So got to save up for the machine work. Machine work is not cheap. If you ever put an engine together, you know this. So I'm just trying to get all the parts that they need to do a short block at least. And then I could put the heads on myself and whatnot, and then have them measure for push rod length, order those, buy those, and I could finish putting it together. And then, you know, we'll go from there. But headers for this thing are pretty expensive. Last time I looked, so I don't know, man. We'll see. Like I said, I'm going to try, but I got this stuff going on. So I'll keep y'all updated. It's hard for the super long video and all the talking, but at least you got to see some cool stuff. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm gonna chill out, hang out, get ready for work tomorrow and whatnot. But uh, I'll catch y'all later, man. Appreciate the love and support. Y'all keep it easy out there. Stay hydrated in this heat, boy. It's hot.